Hey, it's Jay here from Storage Rack Solutions. Wanted to introduce you to our two rack poly recycled material. This is our freestanding poly two rack, shippable anywhere in North America. And it's made of a material that is 100% recycled. It doesn't rot, it doesn't need maintenance. That's the beauty of this. It's also freestanding, so you can literally lift it up and move it anywhere. Maybe you have it out by the dock and as the winter comes you want to bring it into a boathouse or a garage or under a deck or into your cottage. That's the beauty of this, it's freestanding. And being freestanding, you can adjust the distance between the two sides depending on what crafts you have. You might have paddle boards, you might have a mix of paddle boards, kayaks, a canoe, two canoes. This gives you the option to kind of cover 95% of what our clients would need. Now. The spacing, let me talk a little bit about the spacing and some other options you can do with this rack. So down below you have 34 inches of usable space on the bottom arm. Now you might be thinking, wow, my canoe when I measure it in the center is 36, so it won't fit on here. But that's not true. Because remember, a canoe narrows as it gets towards the ends. So you shouldn't measure your craft in the middle, but you should move away from center and measure your craft. So a 36 inch canoe here might taper down to about 28 inches here. Okay, just keep that in mind. So 34 inches of usable space. You have a 19 inch space in here, which will accommodate pretty much any canoe. Or another idea, you could put a kayak here, a tandem kayak, or stack two paddle boards. So I'm just giving you as many options as this rack could do. Up top, you have 31 inches of usable space. And again, if this rack is spread far enough, then you could put two canoes on here. If the rack is a little tighter, well, it'll accommodate anything. You know, you could do two kayaks, you could do two paddle boards, even stack paddle boards, lots of options. It should cover 95% of our clients' needs. Okay, and the nice thing I like about this is very compact, it's low to the ground, it weighs about 25 pounds each side. So it's easy to move around, but nice and stable, okay? Now, you might be thinking, well, in the future, I'd like to add some more crafts, uh, or maybe you, 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 you have more than two, maybe you have four units. Well, you could always buy two and do this. Back to back. We designed these so they're flat. They can literally go right tight together like this. And the nice thing with this material is you can use any type of deck screw and literally fasten straight through. You don't even have to pre-drill. Just treat it like regular wood. And now instead of a freestanding two rack, you've got a freestanding four rack in what we call a Christmas tree style. So look at that. Now, another great option, maybe have a little tin boat or something that's a little wider. You could literally go right across the whole top and then put your other two craft down in here. There's so many options with this little unit. And uh, yeah, that's it. So again, I just wanted to show you that. Now, the other thing you might be saying is, well, you know, what if I have two and then in the future I get maybe a third and I've got this stored somewhere, maybe against the wall. You may want to put another craft up above. Well, you could always add, let me just show you this. You could always add something like this. This is a single wall mount that could be fastened above to turn this into three high, or you add a fourth or a fifth. So these little singles are also available on our site. You can check out our video for those. You can get them for canoes, kayaks, or paddle boards. Lots of options. Now this is shippable anywhere in North America. And the nice thing is once you get this, there is, a, there is a little bit of assembly required, but you can check out our how to assemble your two rack video. It's pretty straightforward. Check that out first before you buy. Uh, the other thing I'd like to mention is when you get this and you set it up in place, my recommendation is to put this on something a little bit more stable than just grass. I mean, unless your grass is perfect, uh, but you know, it can allow the rack to be a little unstable. To make this even more stable is to put maybe little patio stones, one by one patio stones across the back and up the bottom leg. That will actually lift the leg 
or lift the rack, sorry, up off the ground a little bit and create a nice stable base for it, okay? The other beautiful thing about that is if you have a canoe that has a real, what we call rockered profile where the nose really tipped down, this is only five and a half inches off the ground. So the nose or the tail may end up hitting the grass. So it's best if you can to get that another couple inches up off the ground on a patio stone. Or if you use a base like a wooden base or a concrete base, a deck, a dock, any of those things will be better than just straight grass for stability. All right, well, that's it. And I uh, hope this was informative. Just remember, you can reach out to us at any time and get a hold of the owners, Jeff and Jay. We're available 24 seven. If you have any questions before purchasing, we'd be happy to talk to you. Take care.